Hey guys, it's Lala. Welcome back to my channel. So I have for you guys today a Dollar Tree haul. Um, I have, it's not a very big haul, but uh, it's a lot of new things. So I want to show it to you. Um, before I get started, if you're new, welcome. I'm glad that you clicked this button. I hope that you stay subscribed, become part of my friends and family here on YouTube. If you're returning, welcome back. And without further ado, let me go ahead and get into the Dollar Tree haul. All right, I'm going to start with the craftier, like, the craft stuff that I bought. Not that it's a lot of it. The first thing I bought are these squeeze applicator bottles. You do get two of them. And they're just the plastic squeeze bottles. They are two fluid ounces each. And that's basically what they are. Next, these are not new though, but they've been around for a while. They are the Jot Organizer cases. And people have been using these for all sorts of different things. Basically, it's an well, it is an organizer case. You can use it to organize anything you can possibly think of that will fit in the compartments. I even have people that use these to like craft things with them. Um, but I did pick up two of these. Um, I do have a lot of glitter and rhinestones and very small items that I need to keep contained. And so I grabbed these. Keeping up with that, um, this is the Teaching Tree brand. So it's like where the school stuff is, but it is a storage container. And it just looks like this. It's a pink one. It has the, oh, it doesn't flip up. It flips down and it opens up and it's just this, this one here. So I actually bought this to keep my scraps of my vinyl in. I'm going to have little tiny scrap pieces. They're in like a mess pile over here. So I grabbed this with that in mind. Okay, next is like hygiene, beauty, personal needs, stuff like that. Um, I picked up a toothbrush. It's the Dr. Fresh Travel Kit. And this is a soft bristle brush. I have a Philips Sonicare brush and the bristles are kind of hard. Um, so I wanted, I haven't tried a soft bristle toothbrush in a long time. So I grabbed this cheap one to see how I like the soft bristles before I buy like soft bristle replacement heads, if that makes sense. Um, and it's got a little mini toothpaste. So um, we're gonna be going out of town soon. So I figured I could also just keep it for that. Hey, this I, okay, this could technically be, this is in like the beauty category, but I bought it for crafting purposes. This is a silicone facial mask applicator. Um, that's what it looks like. And they have different colors in them. And you can use it to apply your face masks. I use this to smooth UV resin or epoxy out when I need it to be flat. So that's what I purchased this for. Okay, I have one of these on my wrists right now. My hair was up with it all day long and the crease that was in my hair is not terrible. These are made by Scunsy and they are ponytail, they call them ponytailers, but they're just ponytail holders. And they look like this. You see them? I, I hauled these colors in my last haul, um, but they're really stretchy. They feel really good in my hair. They don't give me a headache. They don't tangle my hair up. And so I picked up a pack of just the four black ones. And then these feel like the same type of uh, material, but they just are a different design. This is a like a zebra and then like animal print ones. So this is just a three pack of these. Um, but these are really, really good. If you're tired of like the plain black ponytail holders. I'm telling you guys, these things feel great in your hair. Okay, this is some talc-free body powder. There we go. Uh, I bought this for Greg um, and helps control body odor, absorbs sweat and moisture, keeps body cool and dry. Um, he mentioned wanting some body powder the other day, so I went ahead and grabbed that. All right, on to like the foods and snacks. Um, this is a food or snack, but it's for the dogs. And these are the poppers. They're the sprinkle heart dog treats. Now I've bought these before. The dogs really like them. I've said this before. Axel has a very sensitive stomach. These do not bother his stomach. So they're sprinkle hearts, molasses flavor with sweet sprinkle inclusions. And it says oven baked fresh treats, no fillers or byproducts, food safety certified, made in the USA. It's a four ounce bag. Um, and yeah, so there we go. You can um, check them out at your store to see if it's something you want to give your dog. Okay. Um, all right. As most of you probably know, I don't know, but I, um, did get back on WW formerly Weight Watchers. I'm down. I've been on it, um, for, well, 
I, this is my second week, but my first week I lost five pounds. Yay. So I'm on my second week now. Um, and so I saw these soups and I wanted to give them a try. They're made by Healthy Choice. And this is the chicken with rice soup um, made with chicken bone broth. The points are not really bad at all, but here's the nutrition facts. If you want to take a look at them, um, they also had chicken noodle and some other flavors as well. Um, I don't know what these cost in the store, but I imagine more than $1.25, but I, sorry, Billy is, was walking by and bumping my tripod, but I imagine that these cost more. I'm not sure, but I just wanted to give them a, a, a try. Plus guys, 20 grams of protein. That's really, really good. So, um, can't wait to try it. Oh, wait, you know what else it says? Made with white meat chicken raised with no antibiotics ever. Non-BPA liner. So like loving it. Okay. Easter is, you know, around the corner. It's next month. And I've been buying things for Easter and my niece's Easter baskets. I still have the stuff back here from my last Dollar Tree haul. Um, and I saw these and they are Kellogg's Fruit Loop Jelly Beans. So those look really yummy. And I thought these would be super cute to just, you know, break apart and put in little Easter eggs in their basket. So Fruit Loop Jelly Beans. I also know I did pick up two packs of these, but Greg and I did eat an entire pack. We ate them together, but they are Sour Dudes Sour Straws. And I will say they are not as sour as like the Sour Punch Straws. I would, I do prefer those, which Dollar Tree does have as well, but you don't get as much in here. Um, but this is a five ounce container and they're pretty good. I mean, they're not terrible. They have very good flavor. They're just not as sour as I would like, but they are good. I also saw the pack of mini carnival pops. Now they've carried these for a while. Um, I just don't know if I remember seeing the mixture. This is an eight count and they have like the unicorn horn looking ones and they have the flat ones in here. So there's eight of them. So I thought it's not a bad deal. And that is the, um, the Easter version of them and they are like the pastel colors. Also, I saw this at the in the checkout line, and this is the Kool-Aid gum. I don't remember if I bought this before or not, but it's Kool-Aid gum. You get, um, it says 20 pieces inside. There's a Tropical Punch, Cherry, and Grape. So I figured these would be perfect little basket stuffers. And the last in the food and drink idol is a drink, and it's the Mash Watermelon Lemon Lime Sparkling Fruit Drink. That's what it looks like there. It is 16 ounces. It says 80 calories per bottle. Um, so uh, it's not a water. It's got to be like a juice or something. It's just a sparkling fruit drink. So like a sparkling juice, I guess. But I'm going to give it a try. I haven't tried it yet. I'm going to be trying it on my cheat day, which is Saturday. I have a couple Easter items before I get to that. This is kind of just a random item. My niece Bella loves cows. So if you're watching this, Bella... I got this for you. It's not for Easter. I'm going to bring it to you next time I'm over. But look at this super cute cow canvas. It's just a canvas, but it's so cute. It's got the cow with the flower. And I just thought it was really adorable. And I know she loves cows. So when I saw it, I picked it up so she could put it in a room. These were on my list. And I honestly thought I was never going to find them. But they are the Easter garland. And they're the cute speckled eggs. Aren't they freaking adorable? And of course, it's tied here with the twine. You can cut that and it'll be a long garland. But they're so cute. So I picked up two of them so I could make sure that I, you know, I had them. If I wanted to do a craft with it, which I doubt, but mostly for decor. And that way I wanted to put them in two different places in my home. So now I have two. And my final item is so cute. And I really don't remember if it was out last year or not. If it was, I didn't get it because it looked brand new to me, but this is the decor sign. Now, before I show you, I will say, I do remember seeing a lot of different Easter decor last year on Instagram and YouTube that my store never got, or it just never put out. So, um, here we go. This looks like a cutting board and it says Cottontail and Co egg farm. Hippity hoppity lane, one mile ahead, egg hunts daily. How freaking cute is that? It's so cute. I had to have it. Cannot wait to use this for decor in my coffee bar area. I really failed at doing Valentine's Day 
I had a lot going on mentally in my life and I didn't do it, but I am going to do it for Easter. I am doing it because I have some really cute things that I want to put out. Um, and I may have some people over for like an Easter dinner. So I'd like it to look, you know, a little festive. So anyways, here we go. And that's it for my Dollar Tree haul. That is all. Um, announcement that I can, if you're still watching, thank you. I do want to say that I did change the date of my shop opening to April 1st. I just needed more time for supplies to get in and for me to have time to finish things. Um, you can see right back here on this shelf, those are, those are some mirrors, but here I have two of the mugs I'm going to be decorating. It's Jack and Sally. I have a Cheshire cat. I have a chip from Beauty and the Beast. Um, I have, I just got Ursula. You can see the box right there, but I just got an Ursula mug. Um, I have the poison apple one that I showed you. That's about done. Um, I think that's the only mugs I have right now, but I have a lot on my list that I want to get. So if you, if there are any Disney mugs that you want me to bling and you think that you'd be interested in purchasing or singing, comment that down below. Um, also, you guys know what? I'm just, I'm really excited to, um, I'm really excited to make the stuff and I have the best time make, doing the, the coffee mugs. Um, so sometimes they're hard to find and sometimes they're hard to find, you know, at a, I haven't paid less than $20 for one of these single mugs, you know? So I paid, I would say the cheapest I paid for a mug is about $20. So if you're thinking about wanting to purchase them, just please keep in mind the mug is $20 itself, not to mention the supplies and the time that it takes me to do them. So, you know, they're not going to be redone mugs where you spend $7, you know what I mean? or they're not gonna be Dollar Tree mugs. They are gonna be a little more expensive, but you won't have anyone like them because they'll be one of a kind. So, okay, anyways, that's my shop update for this Dollar Tree haul. I hope that you guys enjoyed the haul. If you did, please comment down below and let me know what your favorite item was this week. Um, I love to see like what kinds of things you guys also like. It's just nice to see what we have in common. Okay, Billy's down here laying down. Do you wanna say hi? Billy needs a haircut, guys. He's going to the groomer Saturday. Say hi. There he is. He's like a little furry mess. So thank you guys so much for watching. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye. Bye. Where's your eye? Billy. Oh.